Drums. Welcome, fellow drum nerds and music producers. It's Jonathan from Redback Drums. On this channel, we provide videos of unique sounding and looking percussive instruments, from sound examples to musical performances, interviews, and behind the scenes with manufacturers. So if you're a drum nerd uh, just like us, please consider subscribing and liking the video so we can get the custom uh, drum word out. We as a uh, rap pack drums are focused on getting you custom built drums to your desktop. This way you can play with the sounds of drums that are not available uh, without selling a kidney or two. Uh, will it be on your electronic drum kit uh, or for your home productions? So if you guys have any suggestions on uh, custom or expensive drums that you would like to have sampled, please leave it in the comments and we will uh, definitely consider adding these to our roster. Today we are going to replicate a drum sound of one of my favorite metal bands uh, with our DS Drum RCS Essentials library. So let's jump in a Cubase session and uh, see what we've got. First off, I, I got the, the original uh, track of Pantera, Walk. Let us listen uh, uh, a little bit first. <laughs> So everybody knows it, right? Every metalhead. Um, and what did I do? I took Isotope RX-8 and took out the drums so we can replicate these drums. It's still uh, amazing to me. It's mind blowing that you can even do this. So here you can hear the, the same song without drums. <laughs> A little bit drums. And you can hear some artifacts. It sounds a little bit duller. But for this kind of um, stuff, you want your own drum sounds or you want to take out the vocals, you can do it with uh, RX-8. Um, you can take out the bass if you want to play with the bass or you want to drum with the, with the track uh, with the live drums. You can take out... Um, all these uh, instruments really crazy so i did a google search for uh, midi drums of pantera or walk and i came on to this guy's his youtube channel only drums and uh, he was so kind uh, to share the midi file go if you uh, go and check out this guy's channel he's got a lot of uh, yeah drums programmed from all kinds of different songs Pretty cool. Um, so I downloaded the, his uh, file, imported it, opened up uh, DS Drum RCS Essentials, and right out of the bat, it sounds like this. <laughs> I needed to tweak a little bit uh, the MIDI file so the hits. Uh, the, the the mapping is the same. If you want me to do a video about that, about um, how to program MIDI drums, please let me know in the comments. I will do that. But for now, we're focusing on the sound of the drums. So let me see. Let us start with the preset. This is the rock preset. Let's go for a metal preset. Modern battle, yes sir. Okay, let's see how that sounds uh, right out of the gate. Uh, the original. Like you. What do I do? 
So the first thing I immediately notice is that the, the drum sound is pretty thinny and high-endy. A lot of high-end um, are EQ'd into the drums so they can poke through uh, these massive sounding guitars. So if we compare that with our preset, So that sounds a lot more, much, much fuller. So we need to tame it a little bit. Let's try to match the levels. So the advantages uh, of EQing a lot of high end into the drums, all the hits are really great articulated. You can hear everything, every tom, every hit poke through the mix uh, really great. But the counterpart of that is that the, the, he misses a lot of balls to the drums, right? So the Pantera track is this year 30 years old. The album is from 1992. So the yeah the productions are a little bit lighter than these days in metal but like, let's try to replicate that So we need more high end in the library first off let's see the beef is on squash is off Character is off. Let's see, we got some room, but it's no room on the high, on the no room on the symbols. But we can for now kill the room entirely. It feels like the, the, the Pantera drums is closed mics and a little bit of reverb. So let's try to do that i'm muting every channel so that saves up uh, cpu power and let's start just with the closed mics mute everyone arrivederci ciao bella it's an italian drum uh, company ds drum let's see hey. Hey. So first, I'm going to make the bass drum really clicky. So we boosted some 5K, a little bit of 2K, and I used the high pass filter to roll off the low end because we don't need that from the kick in mic. We just need that clicky. No okay, now we're going to boost the high end of the snare drum.
I'm adding some ambience to the bass drum as well. I'm just comparing it. Let us take out this browser. We don't need it for now. Just do it like this. And keyboard. Tell me your every word. Is there no standard anymore? Why chase who I am? Will I be alone? You can't be something or not. Be yourself by yourself. Stay away from me. The bass drum even got more high end to my feeling. Let us try a different bass drum, maybe a lower tuned one with the uh, wood beater. Yeah, the wood beater gives you the most uh, attack. But I know one of the. Now that no, I was happy with the Maple Koto toms, but we're going for a mahogany bass drum mm. I think the G sharp is um, has the most attack this tuning in this oh, this one as well This is a little bit higher tune, let's see. Yeah, let's go for the G sharp, it's lower tuned. That works better. I'm focusing on the bass drum at the moment. That's pretty close. Let's try a snare. We've got the 13.7 low tuned steel drum. This sounds like a steel or a brass or a metal snare drum to me as well. Uh, let's see. Al aluminium got it's got a lot of a lot of ring to it in the load tuning. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? No way. Punk. So in in the in the part where the solo is, you can really hear the reverb of the snare drum k popping out, popping on the original track. So, but we we we'll, we're gonna deal with that a little bit later. I'm first looking at the, the same character snare. A little bit higher tune. Let's try the fourteen six mid tuning. Not 
really I think we also got a little bit too much bottom snare mic let's take it out snare Let's try the brass one. Let's see if the mid brass tuning is what we need for this track. I'm not really sure at this point uh, what kind of snare Vinnie Paul used on the track. If it's this brass or, or a different kind of steel or I don't know. But that's my guess anyway. <laughs> sounds a low, lower tuned but we can tune it in, in two ways uh, in this library we can change the actual samples with what I'm doing uh, over here or we can uh, lower the pitch in the mixer with the digital tuner but I like to search for the the, the best snare sample which is uh, the closest to the original and from there we'll maybe detune it uh, digitally but we've got 10 snares with three different tuning sampled uh, so uh, we have options so the lower tuning is getting close let's try the aluminum 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 and see how that works out Ooh. this one is really low tuned let's try the higher tuned just for fun took off a little bit of the the processing on the top snare mic so um, so I can build it a little bit from scratch uh, <laughs> the snare immediately immediately sounds a little bit more a little bit tighter that corresponds with the sound of Finny Paul no way, it's not really a snare that's uh, ringing a lot it's the, the the tail is is generated by the reverb on this track so we'll, we need to to uh, create a short sounding low tuned hit snare I think the brass is the closest to his sound if anybody knows the which snare uh, Vinnie Paul used on this track please leave it in the comments I would like to know let's let's try the low tuning or as or I'm going with the mid tuning on this track with the mid tuning then we are going to use some 
a reverb on that. Let's put it back. Let's put the bottom mic back in. We were working on the snare drum. We picked out the brass in the mid tuning, uh, the Maple Koto kit on tuning two. These are the lowest tuned uh, uh, toms. And we picked the mahogany in the G sharp uh, tuning with the wooden uh, beater that gives the, mo uh, the most attack. Um, yep. Then we got this. So let us compare. There's a lot of, a lot more attack on the snare drum. So let's see if we can create that by taking off the tape saturator. Then we got a lot of more attack. A little bit more reverb. There is something in the MIDI file which I'm not sure what's happening. Let's see. I'm hearing, uh, uh huh. I'm not sure what that is. So we are going to mute it. And this as well. Let's see. Got some bullshit here. Got some bullshit there. Okay. Ciao. Now it sounds a little bit too loud. So go to the Alt tab and just lower the snare drum. I put on uh, some reverb as well, um, but the snare still sounds a little bit too sharp. So we're going to use the tape saturator, but a little less to tame the transients a little bit. And as you can see here, we are smacking the shit out of it with the parallel compression. It's uh, on full power. If you if you reduce these, the snap uh, and the smack and the spark will be less as well, of course. So, but for a metal track, you want a lot of compression, a lot of smack uh, out of the snare drum. But if you need to tame a little bit the, tr the, the transients, put in the tape saturator and you're good to go. So let's detune the drums a little bit more. Let's go to the bass drum first, pitch, and let's detune it two steps. I'm gating it a little bit tighter, so we don't need a lot of, uh, it's not a lot of low end on the Pantera kick. It's just a, a hit pop and it's gone. Um, so I'm really tightening up the gate on the kick out mic. And let's 
take a listen to it and let, let's take a listen to the kick in a gate of a microphone to see how tight that one is. I'm pitching uh, the the kick in microphone a little bit up to get even more of a clicky sound. it back a little bit uh, lower actually and just to match it um, a little bit more with the Pantera kick So now I'm taking a listen to the hi-hat. It sounds a little bit lower pitched, but let's see if we can get it close. I'm putting in the overhead microphones. And that sounds a lot, of, a lot more natural to me uh, for cymbals. <laughs> more of the close mic in the hi-hat. Now I'm gonna pitch it a little bit. Sounds pretty close to me. Let's see if we can get the right up there. Pretty loud bell does he got. Let's see. We're putting in a lot of symbols. Let's see how the me looks. We can even go louder, maybe. No, it's on full power. Uh, let's see. Symbols. Right, it's on the heavy bell. Already the the, the B8 uh, 20 inch. I know that the, the the bell isn't that loud. Let's see. Is there no 
Put in a little bit of a transient designer on the bell. So I'm adding some transient designer on the right and uh, some parallel compression to really give it that thing it needs uh, to poke through the mix of these heavy guitars. Still sounds a little bit thinner to me than the original, so let's see if we can uh, add some more body to the right. Okay, pretty cool, right? Let's see if we, now we are going to focus on the Tom Toms, the Tom Toms. Also really low tuned, so we need to Pick out the lowest tune toms, and that's the Maple Koto. The Maple Koto ones, which I already have selected, and um, but I think we need to detune them a little bit more. Um, let us take a listen. <laughs> Also, we need more smack and more high end. So we'll be adding that around four or five K is usually a good range to start on these toms for more attack. So let me add that on all tom toms. 4 or 5k and let's see what we got after that yep okay 
then we are going to gate the mother freaking hell out of it. So we are making the toms shorter. We don't need the really long tail on the on metal tom toms. So let's see what we got. Yes, that's what I like. And then we are just going to add some ambience with the reverb. And with the reverb, the plate one has more brightness to it and the room is more like uh, adding low end so it's a more of a yeah low end roomies uh, reverb and the plate is obviously more high end so in this case i'm looking for a lot of high end right uh the 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 drums sounds uh high endy so that's why I'm adding more plate than room uh, to the to the drums. Up, oh. then we got this. A little bit too much, but. You get the idea, right? A little bit back up on the time times. There's a shit ton of more reverb on the on the snare drum, so let's add that to it. Up. No reverb. Pretty cool, right? So let me save that preset. I will put it in the description uh, link below. Um, so you can load it up in your own DS drum RCS essentials to rock with Pantera. To rock with the Pantera sound. Pretty cool, right? Uh, let's save that Pantera walk. Save. So that's it for today. So I hope you liked it. Please let me know in the comments if you think I get uh, I got uh, pretty close to the original sound. 
Uh, if you have any other songs or ideas you want me to do like this, um, so from pop to metal, I don't care. We can create uh, the same close to the sound um, of the original track with our library. Um, if you want to pick up one of the libraries, there is a link in the description as well. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Jonathan out, Rap Pack Drums. Thank <laughs> you.